Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I am wearing Jameson by Aesthetica in the color R302826. So let's get started. Jameson is a straight classic bob. Listen, Jameson is a what you see is what you get. It is just classic, straight. It's a workhorse wig. It's an everyday wig. If you like a bob, you got to get a Jameson. The cap on Jameson is Aesthetica's classic, comfortable, average size cap. I have a 22 and a half inch circumference head. This is very comfortable, it's roomy. Jameson has a lace front, a mono part. They have all Aesthetica caps, have great ear tabs with metal stays. It does not have an extended nape and it has those hook closures. Y'all know I don't like those hook closures, but whatever, it works. Aesthetica caps, I don't really need to adjust very much. They're on the last little loop. If they come undone, I just tuck them up. I'm not somebody that, that really relies on the adjusters for this cap, so I think that's why it doesn't really bother me. Everything else about Aesthetica wigs, I am such a huge, huge fan of that I can look past the hook adjusters. Let's talk about the lace front real quick. So Aesthetica always does really great lace fronts. For whatever reason, Jameson does not want to lay flat on my forehead. I have noticed the longer I wear it and everything kind of warms up, it does flatten out. It drives me crazy when I first put this wig on. I always have a little bit of lift right here. So if I'm wearing this like to a meeting or to lunch with people, I will put a little it stays on this. Otherwise, I don't have to wear a wig grip or anything with this one. And I kind of think that the wig grip makes that worse because it just puts something else underneath that cap. So if I'm gonna wear this, like I said, to a meeting or with people where we're gonna be close, I do put a little it stays right there. If I'm just running errands or I'm just, you know, out in my life doing stuff. I just pop it on and don't worry about it. Nobody's looking that close. And like I said, the longer I wear it, it does kind of seem to fix itself and lay flat. There's that. The measurements on Jameson. The bangs are 10 inches. The sides are seven inches. The crown is 11 inches and the nape is four. Overall, it is just, I'm just gonna keep saying it, it is that classic bob shape. It's so cute. This is very reminiscent of my natural hair. My hair was never this thick or this straight. I mean, I could flat iron it, but it never like had the weight to hold a good style like this. But I usually always wore my hair in a bob because I didn't have hair that would grow pretty long. So usually kept it bobbed. And so this is a very comfortable style for me. The permatease and hair fibers on Jameson. The hair fibers are uh, dry, almost to the point where I was kind of surprised how dry they were. And I would just say, like as far as the, the thickness of the fibers themselves, they're not super fine and feathery and fluffy, but probably just medium. They have enough weight to hold the style and to keep a sleek, straight look. The permatease is, um, it's not pillowy and you don't feel like I can feel some right around the ear tabs. Um, I don't really feel much in back. And then there's just a little bit up here. There's not a lot of permatees. This is just supposed to be a classic low density bob style. So you're not going to get a lot of permatees and lift and actually, I mean, I don't know, the more lift, I mean, there's a lot of hair on this wig, so you can get lift just from 
the little bit of permatease there is and then just the sheer amount of hair. I tend to, um, the rounder it gets, the just the rounder everything gets on me. <laughs> so I kind of, I just like to comb it down and just let it be what it was made to be. Just that sleek, classic, straight bob. The color I have is my favorite Aesthetica color, the only color I own in Aesthetica, R302826. You've seen this wig before, this exact same wig. I bought this from Taz of Taz's Wig Closet, and she has a review on this wig, this exact wig. But it's my favorite color, and so when she had it for sale, I had to snatch it up because I have been trying, or before I had, I think I've had it for a couple months now, it kind of slipped through the cracks of my review schedule here, but I had been trying to buy it for months and it was always on back order. So I am not alone in this being my favorite color. It's a lot of people's favorite color evidently, and it was always on back order. So when she had it for sale, I bought it from her and I'm super happy that I did. So you've seen this wig before. This is my favorite color. I mean. I've talked about it in a lot of videos. It's that really pretty light strawberry red. It's a stagnant color, even though it's got three color codes, 30, 28, 26. It's golden blonde, uh, golden strawberry, um, a medium red, but they all just kind of blend together and give you the look of overall a strawberry red color. Absolutely love it. Besides 27MB from John Renault, it is one of the closest colors to my natural hair color. And I, I think that's why I was drawn to it and I just continue to be drawn to it. So, okay, so I've talked about the cap and the measurements and the color and permatease and hair fibers. My overall thoughts about Jameson is I love it. I'm comfortable in it. It's classic. It's a workhorse wig. It's an everybody wig. If you like a bob, you need a Jameson. I think just about every single wig reviewer out there has reviewed this wig. It is just a popular classic wig. It's another one of those wigs that stands the test of time. So if you like it, I would order it and I would order it in all the colors that you want because they are, tend to get on, go on back order quite a bit because people just snatch them up. It's just a classic, comfortable, great wig. I think everybody should have one in their wig wardrobe. You just can't go wrong. Okay, so this has been Jameson by Aesthetica in the color R302826. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and do a little chit chat down in the comments. I would love to know what you think about Jameson, and if you have Jameson, what color you have, and what you think about it. Okay guys, I will see you in my next video.